Meyer lemons are a cross between a lemon and a tangerine. Have you ever had them? They are truly fabulous. Well, today I'm gonna to incorporate this fabulous fruit in my pound cake. Wait until you see how I decorate it. It makes for the most beautiful Easter dessert. guys so first to get started on our Meyer lemon pound cake we need to cream the butter and sugar so I have one and a half sticks of butter so this is room temperature butter you always want to make sure you take out your eggs and your butter well in advance so it's nice and softened so while the butter and sugar are creamy we're gonna work on zesting our Meyer lemon so here is your Meyer lemon. Look how beautiful, and they really smell awesome. They smell like a tangerine. So we're gonna grate two of the Meyer lemons. And the best way to grate it, I just figured this out recently, is grate it upside down. Because that way you're not putting so much pressure on the actual zest, we're getting all of the zest, none of the pith. And the pith is the white part, that's the bitter part. So you almost get a little bit more control and you can see what you're doing. <laughs> Mmm, they smell so awesome. Fabulous Meyer lemons. And then I'm gonna juice them because we need a quarter cup. We're gonna add it into our pancake. All right, so you always wanna stop midway. Brush down your bowl with a rubber spatula. And then underneath, there's a little divot at the bottom of the mixing bowl. You always wanna make sure you get under there. All right, we'll give it another whirl. Looking good. Now we're going to add four large eggs. All right, so we're going to scrape down the bowl and then get our dry ingredients together. So I've already heated my oven to 350 degrees. So you want to heat it a good 10, 15 minutes ahead. It needs to be a perfect, accurate 350 degrees. From testing this recipe several times, 350 is the key. Okay. So now for our dry ingredients. So I have all-purpose flour, so here's a great tip. So take a piece of wax paper, parchment paper, baking soda, kosher salt. I always use kosher salt when I'm baking. The best way to do it, turn your speed down. We're gonna add our zest, which is gonna give so much delicious, amazing Meyer lemony flavor. And the quarter cup of the juice. At this point, it will curdle. Don't worry, everything will smooth out. And then the great little tip that's gonna help you out and make life so much easier and it won't fly around and make your kitchen a mess. Turn your speed down on low. Take your wax paper or parchment paper and just slowly trinkle it in doesn't make a mess, it evenly incorporates, and by the time we're completely finished adding all the flour, it's combined. It's a great little trick. So you want just a standard, standard size loaf pan. Okay. I'm gonna spray my loaf pan with non-stick cooking spray and then dust it ever so slightly with a little bit of flour. So you just gently want to tap out the excess flour so we don't want clumps of flour in there. And I just found the best way is just tap it on a towel. Clearly you don't want to break your loaf pan if you're using a glass one. All right, now we're just gonna take our loaf pan just gently give it a tap, just in case there's any air bubbles in there. All right, 350 degrees, we're all set with the oven. Perfect timing of 40 minutes. Gives us an ideal delicious lemon pound cake. All right, now it's time to make our beautiful elegant garnish. So we're gonna make a simple syrup. So we have water and sugar. We're gonna bring this to a boil. 
once it comes to a boil, we're gonna add our sliced Meyer lemon. So here's another one of these beautiful Meyer lemons. I'm just gonna slice it to about, about five slices. So this is gonna be our edible sweetened garnish. Once our simple syrup comes to a boil, we're gonna add the slices and candy them. They're literally gonna be pieces of candy. So I'm just gonna whisk the simple syrup. You wanna make sure all that sugar is melted first. And it's come to a gentle boil, so we're on high heat. We're gonna cook it about 15 minutes to candy our Meyer lemon slices. All right, so while they're candying, let's make the lemon buttercream. So this is our icing on top. This isn't an ordinary pound cake. This is a special one. So in goes our room temperature butter, one stick, confectionery sugar. So this is gonna sweeten it. Pinch of salt. And we need the zest of one Meyer lemon. So my buttercream, actually, I learned how to make my buttercream from my girlfriend Chantel's mom. She is a professional baker and she bakes amazing. And she taught me how to make just a standard basic buttercream. And I gotta tell you, it's really great, it's really easy, it's super delicious, and it's nice to top on this pound cake. Okay. You know what, I can go right in there like that. Then we need one tablespoon, so just a little bit of the Meyer lemon juice is all we need. It's about a tablespoon. That's it, we're just gonna bring it together. This is our homemade icing. So our Meyer lemons are perfectly candied. You don't even need a candy thermometer for this. So it's about 15, 18 minutes on a high boil. So your indicator is it will begin to froth and get nice and bubbly. So you wanna just kind of come in here and take a peek. See that, see how it's bubbly and frothy? And you can see the rind is now really sort of sweetened and softened. That's what you want. We're gonna remove them, strain them out right to our cooling rack. So just use one side of the cooling rack because when our pound cake comes out of the oven, we're gonna let that rest on the other side. But I'm gonna give you the most important tip. So I'm giving you another two for one today. This simple syrup is now infused with that delicious lemon flavor. Save it, let it cool, put it in the refrigerator. It'll last about a week and then you can sweeten your homemade iced tea with it. It's so delicious, or cocktails great making cocktails, make a Meyer lemon lemon drop, so good. All right, I'm gonna let these cool. Once they're cooled, we want them completely cool. I'm gonna dust them with sugar on both sides. So our candied Meyer lemons are cooled. So now we just wanna dust them with sugar. Perfect, so after 40 minutes, you just wanna take out your pound cake. It smells so good and just leave it in the loaf pan on the cooling rack for 10 minutes. If we try to take it out now, it's gonna fall apart. And after 10 minutes, we're just gonna loosen the perimeter and gently fold it upside down and then right side up, obviously, and just leave it on the cooling rack. We want it to fully cool at room temperature. It takes about two to four hours before we add our buttercream icing. But guess what? Thought ahead. I made one earlier, so now, we're gonna ice this one. So I'm gonna just move this over. We have our slices ready and our buttercream that we made earlier. So this is how we're gonna decorate it. An offset spatula, you can use any spatula. We're just gonna ice the top. This is fun for the kiddos, let them do it makes for such a beautiful presentation. So we're not gonna ice the whole thing, just the top. Get a little 
little swirls in there. Perfect. Mmm, so good. Now, I'm just gonna place our slices right on top, just like that. Come on, how beautiful is that? It's so beautiful, I don't even wanna cut into it. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, but we gotta taste it. I gotta taste it for you. We'll cut a little sliver from the front. Mmm. It's moist. The lemon is not overpowering. The icing is perfect. Mmm. What a beautiful presentation to adorn your holiday table. With this recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. I'm Shreem with Cook This. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.